guys, my name is AP and today we're going to be doing the Lightweight Java Game Library 3 tutorial. The reason I am doing this is because the Lightweight Java Game Library 2 is a little bit different from the new version. Mostly because the display class is no longer there and it is replaced with GLFW. So uh, today we're going to be making a GLFW window and we are going to be making a game using Lightweight Java Game Library 2 show all the features it has now so the first thing we got to do is we got to download it which I've already downloaded it but what you want to do is you want to go to lightweight java game library dot, dot org slash customize or you can just download one of their presets I personally like to do customize and what I did was I chose all the uh, bindings you got and uh, the add-ons too Mostly because it has a uh, Java Open Math Library, which is very useful because instead of doing the math by ourselves, we would just have to do it with Java Open Math Library. So the next thing we got to do is after you downloaded it, you want to put all you, and you have all your jars. You want to go to your uh, build path. So first of all, we're just gonna actually create the project. I'm just gonna call it Lightweight. Java game library tutorial and we're gonna go to build path where's build path there it is and we're gonna add library so I don't have any user libraries yet but we're just gonna create a new one lightweight Java game library 3 and we're just gonna add some external jars so uh, here's all my jars and I'm just gonna choose all of them actually Hold on, these aren't my right jars, these are my... Okay, hold on. Okay, now I should have the right jars. Okay, so after you downloaded it, go to uh, Build Path, Add Libraries, User Libraries, Create a new user library, I'm just going to call it Lightweight Java Game Library 3, but you can name it whatever you want. Go to there, Add External Jars, go to wherever you need to go to, I'm just going to go to Desktop, tutorial and jars so I'm going to choose all of them because I personally don't like the Java Docs and uh, so, uh, sources so I just got the all the stuff I need select all of them that you need and press open it should import all of them and so we're just going to apply and close we're going to use this library and now like wait Java game library 3 is now uh, in our uh, project so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a main class. So I'm just going to put this in my own package called main. Because you're going to have a lot more stuff in there later on. But for right now, it's just going to be the main class. Uh, put main in, tutorial, in the name and uh, select the public static void. So it auto-generates the uh, main uh, function. And after that, I'm just going to delete this white space. We're going to create a new package called package uh, engine, which is what our game is going to be using all our stuff on. And we're going to create a new package called .io. I like to organize my classes before I get in. So first of all, yeah. Okay. What's it? Oh, it's because of this. Okay, package uh, here. And just let me fix this hold on okay so now that I fixed it I'm going to uh, create a class it's going to be called window so okay so now with our window uh, class we are going to be creating the window so we need to set some variables the width and the height we're gonna set the uh, title which is a string so title string title and we're going to be setting the window, which for some reason the window is long, which is okay. So window. And so let's create a constructor, which takes in the width, height, and title. So public window int width, int height, and string title. And we're just going to be setting the values to that. Well, actually, we can set the window here. So, in here, we can say glfw dot uh, 
create. Well, actually, no, we're going to set it in the create. Yeah. So this dot width the height width is equal to width and this dot height is equal to height and this dot title is equal to title so now we're going to put the create window in the create function so after so after we create after we uh, construct it we're going to call the create and it's going to use all the stuff we put in so we're going to actually test if glfw is initiated so we're going to do this in this if statement if not glfw dot glfw init which will return if it's initiated or not and then i want it to throw a new i'm actually no i'm actually gonna system dot error dot print line and it's gonna say error couldn't initialize glfw and it's gonna exit and so the next thing we want to do is we is since it's initiated we are going to create it so glfw dot glfw glfw dot create window and it's going to use this one which is the width the height the title whether or not you want it to be full screen or whatever size we don't want it to be full screen yet so we're going to add that and if you want it to be displayed uh, across multiple monitors we also don't want that so we also got to set this to window. So now, now we need to uh, create a video mode. So actually we need to test if the window is actually a thing. So if window is equal to zero because windows are longs, then we're going to actually do another one. System.out.printout error dot print line we're going to say error window couldn't couldn't be created so the next and we also got a system exit because why not not why not there's actually a reason okay so now we are going to be setting the position of the window so we have to do this with a GLFL vid mode, which is basically the monitor, and we're going to call this video mode, and we're going to set it to glfw.glfw get uh, video mode. There we go, and we're going to do the monitor, which is the primary monitor, the one you're viewing this video on. So we're going to do glfw get primary monitor which is also long for some reason so let's import that and the next thing we ought to do is calculate the position so we can do this by doing glfw.glfw set window position I did that right yeah glfw set window yeah there it is so, uh, which window we want to set it to, which we're only going to have one, so this window, uh, which is, and we're going to determine the X position, which is video mode dot width, and minus the window width, divided by 2, so we can get it centered on the monitor. And we're going to do the same thing for height, for Y position, but we're just going to do it for height. The height minus height two. so after we do that we are going to actually show the window so glfw dot glfw show window and which window we're going to show our own window and yeah so that's our window class right now but right now when we load this so I'm just going to load it window 
equals new dough. I'm just gonna hard cut some values in. Now I'll do this one. And lightweight Java game library tutorial. And so now we have created a window. We're gonna import it. Oh, that ain't public. Let me fix that. Alright, and then input the correct one. Okay. And so then we're going to create it. So what happens here is it's just going to flicker. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create a does it close method, which GL double does that for us. So public void is look closed and it's gonna actually return a boolean and it's gonna return glfw dot glfw and it's window should close in our window so it will return if it should be closed okay so what we want to do next is we want to create a while loop to detect if it has been closed or not so if we do while not window dot closed, which tells us if it's been closed or not. Then we want to do the game loop, which is probably just going to be system dot out dot print line, and it's going to be uh, hey. So uh, the next thing we got to do is well, it should work, but our window is glitching out. Like you can barely close it. It takes a lot of clicks to close it, and what we got to do then is we got to go to window and we got to create uh, a couple more functions to update and uh, make the window work. So with the update, this is going to do GLF, glfw pull events, which basically gets rid of uh, everything from the previous frame. And we need to swap the buffers. So swap buffers which uh, gets uh, which uh, makes like renders everything to the screen or does everything that needs to be for that frame so we need to put the uh, update before so window dot update before our game loop which is just hey for now and window dot uh, create uh, swap buffers after which renders everything or does everything you need to be to frame so with this uh, it just creates our window and so this is pretty good and also before like uh, I had to take a break because I had to get a drink of water I also added these window hints which is like setting setting it's settings up so we do we want to set visible and resizable to false we set resizable to false because uh actually i don't even think we need this we set resizable to false because if you have a resizable window it can mess a lot of things up so and the reason why i added the other one because i saw it then was because uh what it does is uh, it basically creates another window and then it transforms it to where it was. It's like, this is all done in more than one frame. So, uh, invisible. And it's going to be false. Until it wants to be actually shown. So That's why we did, oh crap, S. So. Anyways, so now we have ourselves a working window and in the next episode we're going to be doing uh, input so uh, Stay tuned for that. It'll be probably be on uh, tomorrow. So bye